Okay, have a seat. No, don't be sorry. So I was, this, it's a three-rooted cream molar. Okay. So I was, I had just found two canals, and while I was waiting for you, I was digging around trying to find the third one. And I just think I just... Think you found it? Yeah. Cool, so you didn't even need clubs. That's what happens when you have to wait. Yeah, just started poking around there. I'm like, it's gotta be a, there's got to be a third one. So there's that one. But there's that one. That's the one you're talking about. Yeah. Cool, you got it. It's neat, eh? Yeah, so, so now, there's that. And then, but the, then where where's this one go? There's that one. Yeah, that one I'd already gone down. Yeah, you did that one beautifully. And then here's this one you just that found, one I, I guess. I just found it, so I hadn't gone in, but the ten. What size file are you using? Well, I'm just throwing a six in. Oh, okay. Because the ten file was not going. So there's something I didn't understand when we were doing lectures and stuff. Okay. How, how and when would I use path files? Is this a good. No, we wouldn't want to use path files here because path files only work if you've got a, a smooth path. Oh. So path files follow a path of just a 10. Just if you don't have a 15. So you have to, I mean, just if you didn't get your 15 all the way down. Path files, okay. You want to use path files, say, for fun, then you need to first use a 10 file and catheterize the canal. Right. Then you can go to a mechanical okay. instrument. Okay. But if you don't, it, right here, we, we should negotiate it first. Right. Because right now I'm thinking it's blocked. Yeah. Or I don't think it's seriously blocked, but I don't, but a path file is not going to follow. Okay. It's going to break. Okay. So we have to have a, a hole for the rotary file to follow. Okay. So what I could do. Do you mind if I clean this up just a smidge? No. no. So I can see in here. I actually did that access with a laser before I came. Really? Yeah. Amazing. So I'm going to just uh, try to screw this up. It looks kind of terrible because it kind of takes some bites out of it, too. <laughs> okay. Where are you from, Nana? Toronto. That's what I thought. You're a little north, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you said that was like 45 minutes or so? Yeah. Okay. So what all do you use your laser for? I'm actually, I was just looking into Gloria. getting into Yeah. Because now they're, there's like new ones and they can actually remove Hard tissue? Yeah, it's real. It's not before. So now it's, it's, now it's getting more interesting. Yeah, but now I was going to ask you actually about the use for endo. Not as a primary use for the laser scan and process of the but there is articles. I didn't print it before I came, and I wish I had. It's about photo induction. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's using the laser energy without even pushing any tip of the laser all the way down into the canal. They do it in the salt chamber. Yeah. Just they sure do. The laser energy goes, and they, Pips. That's pips. Pips. Yeah, I'm having my pips, and then they're showing my like, skin and what's on my class to be. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. It's thrilling. I don't teach that, but I'm very aware of a lot of things that are coming, and then of course cost is a factor because you got to teach things that most people could do if they were reasonable. Right. It's hard to teach things that only me, you, and one other cowboy is going to do. Right. But it's pretty exciting that Pips technology. That's an Italian guy. He lives in Scottsdale and Italy. Okay, can you see in there better? Yeah. So now I can see that canal we're talking about. Huh? So you don't have to necessarily stand here. But he can if he can wants if to watch. If you like what you're hearing and yeah. it's addressing your... So you really opened... Yeah, and see, then there it is. Yeah. So you were just getting caught in the coronal. Yeah, now I just... And so why don't you hand me a GG1? And I'll just show her a little trick for flaring these things and make things easier for her. Now this is way too small for me to consider an SX. I think okay. I'd catch the tip and break it. Okay. I think the the X gates would be huge. It would overwhelm this, so I'm going to a really small one. Okay. Old-fashioned, old but just same cause. Yeah. yeah, now just watch this. Okay, and then we can just put this right here. That's just a regular gate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
like I usually go with my size one halfway down my nose. Yeah, no problem. So let's put a two in. The thing is, is I'm running these things. Yeah. So I'm just. Yeah. That's gentle. You'll never break anything. So let's see. Where was I? Ten. Is this a ten? Oh, that's a huge file. But I need a 10 for my blue, so I need a 25. But this isn't that long, is it? So I need actually, you're right, I need this sponge. This is the shorter ones. So now I can start to see it, can I? Yeah. And I would like to get that a little bit better. So I would never normally open how much you just did because I'd be afraid to start. Oh, don't, hon. You're going to be fine. Because, you, because see how, how gentle I'm doing it? Okay. It's just following. Well, ask yourself another question. If we were all done shaping, wouldn't your orifices be a lot bigger than this? Yeah. So we're not doing anything dangerous. We're just getting there. We're just, pro we're just progressively expanding so we can get there. And I'll take a three. What did I do? You flipped it around. Oh, <laughs> well, did it stab you or not? Just scare you? I don't think it broke through. <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> scared me more than anything. Yeah, because it was different. And then after every time, let's just go back and make sure we didn't lose our pathway. So perfect, perfect. Good, that's so fine. Is the most important thing. Yeah, so let's get some air right in there so she can see a little bit better. And then now I'm going to come in with this. I'm hugging that wall. Now I'm brushing a little bit more. That's better, and I'll take a four. I'll finish with a four. You go into the small canal too with a four? I'm going into all three of them. And I'll show, give you a little better glimpse. So start way up high, see? So you can just get that transition here back, get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. See how we can okay. come right down in there? Yeah. Oh, I see. Then just ramp this a little bit. You can see it. Yeah. And ramp that a little bit, not much. Just come up the lingual. Brush a little bit there, a little bit that way. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I would start thinking about cleaning and shaping now. Because mm -hmm. now I would say I have, I mean, you did a lot of the hard work. I mean, hell, this would have been a hard access because, uh, I don't know, but your chamber's way down here, isn't it? Yeah, it was. So this would be, already. this would probably be below the bone clinically. I think your chamber's subcrestal. Oh. I mean, the floor. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. think it would be, I think you did a marvelous job getting from way up here all the way down and then couldn't find this one and then found it. And now you and I can get into it, no problem. And we can get into this one. And that's no problem. And we probably have to think about where's this one? And that's going to be over here. And there it, there it is there. I have debris, but do you see it? Yeah, yeah. I'll move it so you can see it shiny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're in good shape. Good. Thank you. So don't be afraid to get them opened a little bit more. So you are you got good hands. If you did what you just did here, you got great hands. So just have a little more confidence. Because when you, you're done, you and I are thinking the orifices are going to be about that big. Mm -hmm. So when you told me you thought it might be a little bit too big, that was about when they were about half that big. Yeah. And now I have them just about where they'll end up being. Yeah. So they're, they're about right here. Now it's way too small here. Yeah. So we're just going to blend this up like this and flare it out into that orifice. Yeah. That's what you got to do now.